All righty, YouTube. What we got is a 2014 um, Chrysler Town & Country 3.6 liter. And what we're doing is we're going to change out this radiator. First thing what I did is I took off this radiator <coughs> upper hose. Excuse me. Radiator upper hose with the... Um, I just took off this clip right here and pulled that back and then took this off and then I'm gonna move this up out my way right over here. Put it kind of behind that. And just to get that out of my way. And then what I'm gonna do is um, next is I'm gonna remove this uh, over overflow reservoir and then we're gonna move the fan and we'll be right back all right next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and we're gonna remove this get a little bit of light going so what you do is just pull up just pull up really simple those things they sit inside the fan and you just uh, slide them down Pretty simple. Let's see. Okay, we're gonna come over here. Let's get this catch pan over here. Uh, righty. Okay, I'm gonna take this about. Oh, come on. Let's put that inside there. I gotta drop a catch pan over there that I'm gonna catch it all right and next we're gonna take off our fan we're gonna have a flathead screwdriver yeah we're gonna pull back this little safety clip and then just press down right up inside between that safety clip push down Pull right off. Be careful pulling, pulling on the um, the wires. Try to um, not pull on the wires. Be extra careful. Let's see if we can. Yeah, we got another one right up in here. Pull the red clip up first. There you go. Push down on it. Be careful pulling on those wires. Like, if it's not coming, leave it alone. Make sure it's pushed in. All right, and then we're gonna take this and we're gonna put this over to the side right here. And then next, we're gonna uh, take off this fan. What we're gonna do is we're gonna push this. We have these clips is right here. Push those down, just like that. And then able to lift that up. Same same thing over here. Push it down right here. Push it down right there. And here, let me see if we can get a better lighting. There you go. Push that in. Pull that up just like that. And then we'll pull this on out. Just like that, and there's your fan. All righty. So we got all the, we got at the fan and the overfill reservoir off. And then see where, le that's where we're leaking at right there. See all that green fluid? That's where we're leaking at. No problem, that's what we're gonna be changing out. All right, and we got um, another hose right down there that I'm gonna be taking off. The lower uh, radiator hose, we're going to be taking that off and getting that out the way. And also, we got a 10 millimeter. That it looks like we're going to be getting off also. Where this 10 millimeter is at? It's right here. The 
10 millimeter right here. Right there, there's a 10 millimeter. I'm gonna take that off. Do not touch this, these two. The 10 millimeters right here. We're just taking it off the radiator. off right here one bolt here another bolt here another bolt here and a bolt here and also one here but first what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off that um, lower hose Clamp it down and push it, pull it off with our, with my hand. I had a little pro pry bar helping me, but I'm gonna take these 10 millimeters off right here. Get those out the way. These are strictly for the radiator. Make sure you remember where those go. this up and get this out the way let's put this right over here to the side let's see if we can just let that hang right there that'll be okay and here's our radiator right here tool let's see if we can get this tool in here and take off these two little clips so you just gotta push in Go. 
same thing on this side. These two clips right here. Just take them and you just press them. Squeeze them. And then take that. Just like that. It's pretty simple. I could just get a grip on it. And then take this away from that. <clears throat> step through check <laughs> Make sure you take off these right here and put these to the side so they won't fall. You're gonna, you're gonna need those on your, sometimes a new. Make sure you take these off. Like I said, sometimes other radiator don't come with it. And you need them to put on your new radiator. <coughs> Alrighty. Let's see if we can, we're just trying to take this Thing popping through like and usually it just pops off there it goes a little bit more a little bit extra force and then we're gonna pull this up and off of that radiator got to kind of pull that condenser up and down there is connected to the radiator right down there it's connected to the radiator and then you got to pull it up off of there So I'm gonna, we're gonna go ahead and take this radiator out of here. We'll be right back. All righty, we're putting a new radiator in. And let's get that passenger side started first. When you're putting this radiator in, just be extra careful not to um, damage the radiator. to put it back on.
lift these up, put these on the clips, and then we'll be right back. All right, we got the radiator in, and we're gonna put this bottom hose hose back on. Let's see if we can get it started. clamp tool if you don't have it it's okay just use big pliers Press it. Just, all right. Thank you. All right, we're ready. We're just gonna get this clamp with this hose and put it on there. Push it all the way back and there we go. Make sure you put that clamp back on the way it came off. Yep. Make sure this one's 
lined up. Put the radiator bolts in first. Then we're gonna put the frame bolts in. All right. This is a Chrysler Town and Country. It's also the same process on a Dodge Grand Caravan and the Volkswagen Rutan. thing we're gonna put our fan back on Put this cooling fan in. Be careful not to damage your radiator. sits right in and then we're going to put our connectors back on we have power to our fans clip lock clip and lock it <coughs> and there we go and then what we're going to do is we're going to put our The reservoir back in, made by Mopar. And then we're going to take these three, we're going to put them into those little holes right here. And then as we put them in the top part of the hole, we slide it down to the narrow part of the hole. Simple. this back to our new and improved radiator. <clears throat> and that will do it. And then we're gonna put our hose back on. And that's what you have it. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna fill it up with some coolant 
and we're gonna bleed the system as we as we turn the heater on full blast, and then as we before we put turn the heater on full blast and turn the vehicle on, we're gonna fill this up. We're gonna loosen up our uh, bleeder valve, which is over here. Come show them the bleeder valve. We're gonna loosen up that bleeder valve. We're gonna loosen up that bleeder valve right there with a flathead screwdriver. And then uh, we're gonna fill it up until it start pouring out, of coolant start pouring out of there. And then we're gonna go ahead and top that off and then we're gonna close that valve back up when that coolant start pouring out of there. And turn the heater on full blast as we fill up all the coolant and then we're gonna bleed that and that is burp to help, help burp, burp the system. And hope this can help you out and uh, if you need any, um, if you have any questions, just leave it in a comment. We thank you very much and we hope this can help you do it yourself in your own garage at your own home. Have a blessed day.